Rainbow Blanket, written by Yanya Kolik, narrated and recreated by Rainu Dillon. This story is dedicated to children everywhere. Enjoy the story! One summer, there was a beautiful magical field of the most colourful wild flowers. They were very happy to grow together and they enjoyed the company of each other very much. Each flower had its own colourful dress that everyone would admire to watch. Usually they were all very happy and liked to dance in the gentle wind that often blew. One morning, however, they were all very still and quiet. There was a little poppy and she had a sad tear on her face. <laughs> what happened? Her friend Ladybug came close to her and asked. Poppy, why are you sad? Poppy answered, Oh, my friend, yes, we are all so sad and worried. Some of us overheard a few people talking to each other while they were walking near us. They said that we are so pretty and that we would look even prettier in a vase. We were afraid that they may come back and pick us and then we will no longer grow together in this beautiful enchanted field. That thought hurts us so much. <laughs> Ladybug was thinking for a moment and said, I have an idea. Let me go and talk to Butterfly. He's smart and I'm sure that we will find a solution. Don't worry, Poppy. Tell the others to relax. I'll be back as soon as I can. And off she went. Ladybug looked all over the field for the butterfly and finally she spotted him. She explained about the threat to the beautiful flowers growing in the field. Both the ladybug and the butterfly said, We are too small to help. We need somebody else to help us. They both thought of Bumblebee. She always finds the good solution. Let's go and see her, said the ladybug. So off they both went to look for Bumblebee. They found the Bumblebee and told her about the flowers. Together they had a long meeting and they made a decision. They decided they needed a much more powerful friend to help this time. So they went to seek their friend, Wind. They called the wind whoosh as he made that sound whenever they saw him. That day was very still and they had to be very patient waiting for whoosh to show up. Whoosh was so happy to see that Ladybug, Butterfly and Bumblebee were looking for him. Whoosh listened carefully to his friends and he thought very hard about how to protect the beautiful flowers. After what seemed like a very long time, he finally said, I think we can help our pretty friends in the enchanted field. We can perform some magic with the help of clouds and sun. I'm sure that cloud and sun will want to help and be in our team. Off he rushed away to the clouds. When the people appeared to pick the flowers, they were in for a big surprise. Just at the time when the people came to pick Poppy and her friends, Whoosh started to blow very strong. Cloud changes color from white to dark gray, showing you is becoming heavy and full of water. Whoosh blew harder and harder, and the raindrops started to fall on the field. Very soon, Cloud made a strong rain shower that fell everywhere. Of course, the people couldn't walk further on the field because it was too wet and soggy with deep mud. They had to take shelter under a tree to keep dry. There, they waited until the rain stopped. Cloud made sure that it would take a while for this to happen. Then when Cloud saw the people were all wet and upset, he let the sun take over with his magic. 
What a wonderful surprise! The wind stopped blowing, the rain stopped falling, and high in the sky the sun finally showed up. With his warm, comforting arms, he gave a big hug to all the flowers. Suddenly the magic happened. It looked like the sun was smiling on everyone. The most beautiful rainbow appeared all over the field, and it was just like a colorful blanket that protected the flowers. The people found themselves looking at the most beautiful view that looked magical even to them. They loved all the colors of the rainbow blanket and the flowers underneath looked so beautiful that they decided the flowers looked far more beautiful left in the field growing instead of picking them for their vase. When all the flowers heard the people say this, they became very happy as they watched people put away their scissors. The people said, this must be a very special magical field of flowers protected by the rainbow blanket for such things to happen. They all agreed that it was so much nicer to just come and enjoy watching the flowers where they are. What wonderful news for Poppy and her friends and the other flowers. When they heard that they had been saved, they started to dance because they were so happy and relieved. The ladybug, butterfly and the bumblebee joined their friends, the flowers, happily dancing together. They all agreed that it felt so good to help each other save their friends, the flowers. Oh, it feels so good to help when somebody needs help, said ladybug. Yes, it does, said the butterfly. Of course, this is the most beautiful time of my life to be able to help when needed, said the bumblebee. High in the sky, the clouds whoosh the wind and the sun were peacefully smiling. Remember, flowers are living things. We must protect our planet Earth and save the trees, plants and flowers. Flowers provide food and shelter for many insects too. We hope you enjoyed the story. Do share this story with your friends and family. Keep smiling!